All right, hey, good morning, everybody. Shane here from the Brookings Home Team, powered by Century 21. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, it is not Monday morning mortgage tip, uh, with it being a holiday, and uh, thank you all to all those veterans out there for your service and everything, first of all. I wanna thank you for that, but uh, uh, because of the, the holiday, um, uh, the banks are not open, so no Monday morning mortgage tip, but I thought, why don't we just uh, maybe do a quick uh, explanation of um, the uh, absorption rate and, and kind of give you a rough idea of what some of the numbers look like here in the in the Brookings market in case you are thinking of selling but uh, again before I do that I just want to thank everybody that had come out yesterday to our customer appreciation appreciation event uh, uh, myself Janine and Raina we want to thank you guys uh, for trusting us in helping you with your your real estate transaction um, that certainly means the world to us uh, we wanted to show our appreciation by providing uh, a family movie uh, coming just coming out and enjoying a couple hours as a family and uh, hopefully you were able to do that uh, we want to thank you again for for everybody that came out uh, I think there was over 150 of you uh, that came uh, so thank you and I hope we can do it again and um, please pass the word if you uh, know of anybody uh, thinking of uh, needing some help in the real estate side of things, uh, please think of us. We'd be happy to, to help them out and provide the same service that we provided you. But So thank you again. We'll announce the winners of the uh, basket, of the uh, movie basket uh, later today. But uh, before we do that, like I said, let's, let's talk a little bit about absorption rates. I, I had somebody ask me about that once. And basically what the absorption rate is, is it's... Um, taken you're dividing the number of sold homes over a given period say a year uh, divided that um, by the number of homes that are still available and basically that tells you how many months of inventory we have uh, in that price range you can do it by price range you can do it uh, MLS MLS wide multiple listing service wide or however you want to do that uh, here in Brookings um, our multiple listing service wide as of the end of October we were right about four months of inventory and that's what uh, in general uh, if I, I went and broke it down a little bit into a price range I think I did 150 to 175 uh, and that absorption right there to told us we had about three three and a half months worth of inventory now as a seller um, it's you like it under six months that means it's a it's a seller's market so um, things aren't lasting very long people want to get into a home uh, anything under six months anything over six months then it's a buyer's market and buyers have more time to choose there's more on inventory and uh, people just have that ability to take it a moment and, and think about what kind of home they want to want to purchase so um, as you can see the 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 median line is six months. That's where it's a balanced market. Uh, right now, like I said, in Brookings and multiple listing service wide, we're at four months. So four months of inventory, uh, it, it's starting to creep up. It, 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 we were right around that three, uh, three and a half range for a while. Um, actually, two months ago, we were at four and a half. So it did come down a little bit, but it, it, will, go, it will go up. So that is kind of how the absorption rate works. Um, and then basically days on market is another thing that we talk about here in Brookings right now our multiple listing service uh, wide is about 90 days on the market so about three months uh, is is kind of where the days on market fall in play that is skewed a little bit because that includes new construction which generally they put on pretty early as they're starting to dig the holes and stuff and and of course it's on this on the system a little bit longer but uh, um, you know, days on market plays a big part there too. We were, uh, I'm just looking here, the lowest we were at were about 45 days back in February of this year. Uh, the Brookings home team, I think we're right around that 45 to 55 range, uh, just as a team by itself. So our listings generally get sold a little bit faster uh, than, than MLS wide. Now, I do have some homes that have been on for a little while and uh, we are very motivated to get those sold as well, uh, going past the the third the three month period so let us know if uh, if you have any buyers so we have price ranges from 74,000 up to 329,000 actually I have that on my Facebook page now uh, if you know of anybody looking to buy in that range uh, hit up Janine hit up Raina uh, they'd be happy to take them out and show them so 
That is kind of the information I want to give you today. Tomorrow, I hope to have the Monday morning mortgage tip. I believe it will be with Barb over at Bankstar. Um, I need to confirm that with her, but uh, I'm hoping it'll be on tomorrow. So listen up there. Thanks again for watching everybody and feel free to share or tag anybody that you think would benefit from this video as well. I'd be happy to talk to them uh, about anything that is real estate related or just personal stuff if they like. So uh, happy to help any way you can. Give us a call 691-3023, uh, Raina over at 999-7058 and Janine 690-0766. Thanks again. Enjoy your day off if you have the day off. Thank those veterans out there for their service. Um, hope you had a great weekend and uh, have a great week. Let's stay in touch. We'll see you later.